DJ Pascual and I'm a photographer based in Manila. <laughs> I never thought I'd become a photographer, but I've always been interested in photography since I was very young. But since I came from a family of doctors and lawyers, it wasn't really an option for me. Um, but um, when I was in college, me and my friends came up with a t-shirt line. So that's how I got into fashion photography because I shot the lookbooks and you know our online materials. So that's how I fell into it and that's how I got discovered by magazines too. I do a lot of celebrity work in the Philippines and I've done some in, uh, international celebrities too like Troy Sivan and Sky Ferreira and Coco Rocha. And yeah, recently I shot Patrick Starr uh, for Team Magazine here in uh, LA. We were uh, brainstorming for a uh, cover for Team Magazine's next issue, which is the, um, the FM issue. <laughs> um, so we came up with a couple names and one of the names that came up was Patrick. And I've been following him for a while and actually didn't know that he, he has been following me for years now. Um, even before I followed him, I didn't know. So um, yeah, it was, uh, so team contacted his management, Patrick Starr's management, and yeah, said he was excited and that he's been following me for a while. So that's really good. He's amazing with makeup. Like he can really do magic as we've seen uh, in his videos with Katy Perry and um, Kim Kardashian. Uh, he's really good with the makeup, but also in addition to that, he's also, a very magnetic person, you know, the way he smiles and interacts with people, he's really something. <laughs> it sets the mood, actually, um, and uh, you like, when, of course with me, I base everything off of light. If I'm shooting in a location, I find a place with good light. Uh, light first before um, background, for me. <laughs> I would want to shoot um, Naomi Campbell. <laughs> I want her to throw a phone at me, I'm kidding. No, but I wouldn't say what I would shoot her as, but because it's going to be a secret. I don't want anyone else to do it before me. Um, it's gonna be a, a, a high-octane fashion shoot for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really more addicted to like models. <laughs> who's, who's your favorite model right now? Is it Naomi or do you have? Um, well, Naomi is one of the greats. So, um, but uh, people in my top, maybe top five are um, Gemma Ward, Natasha Poli, Coco Rocha, who I've already shot. <laughs> um, of course, Naomi is in it, and. I don't know. Those are my top four. <laughs> Linda, of course, but I'm afraid of her too. There's something about these supermodels that you love them, but you're afraid of them. I think that was the same I um, same feeling I had with um, when I was first working with like Georgina. I was super afraid. Like I actually remember declining the first shoots I was supposed to book with Georgina because she's. Uh, so she had this reputation of being difficult, but um, yeah, when we worked together, we worked together well, and that's the end of it. 